Okay, that's the loadout that I use, guys. It's C4. Well, that's the loadout that I'm gonna use right now. It's C4 and a sniper. Um. Oh, come on, get, get me a body armor. There we go. Get some bullets. Let's put some C4. By the way, what's good about having C4 in two loadouts? Uh, for example, if I'm gonna get killed right now. Uh, by the way, first trick. <laughs> Yeah, you can jump on a tree from this little fence over here. That's what I usually do. For the first part of the game, I just camp on the tree. You don't really have a good cover in terms of protecting you from arrows and shit. But it makes it really difficult on your enemies to notice you since... Uh, uh, what's this guy? I don't see him. Nobody, I'm not gonna help you, sorry. I don't wanna get off the tree. So what's great about it is that you can cover the the belt now and the flag as well. As well as the spawn point, by the way. Yeah, you can snipe them at the spawn point too. So it might take you a little bit practice to to learn how to do it fast, like I just did it first time, first try, I mean. But it's not that difficult. Just climb the damn fence and jump on the tree. This guy. Yeah, he actually noticed me. I mean, the uh, the bushes and the leaves gives you a little cover in terms of... Well, uh, as I already said, it's really difficult for your enemies to spot you. But whenever you kill somebody... Whenever you kill a few players, you, be you better dislocate, because... You become an easy target then. Let me just get a couple more kills and then I'll show you guys how to climb on the house, on the on the roof of the house. If some of you doesn't know, because that's like a common trick. I found it out like half a year ago, and then I showed a couple of my friends and nowadays fucking everybody and his mom are using it. Nope, not gonna stab him. Headshot, yeah, I feel him. Okay, you see this dude is shooting at me. Let me get some bullets and go kill him. He has a red lift too. So now, how you climb the house? Go behind the house, climb this little hill over here. Uh, get some momentum, and then just jump. And there we go. I don't think you have to gain altitude, but whatever. And before you approach the house, just open your parachute so that it elevates you a little bit. And that's why you you'll be able to land on the roof like I just did. What's great about camping on the roof is that people cannot kill you with ghosts. They cannot stab you. They cannot kill you with elephants. Nothing. Let's kill him with a grenade. See you, buddy. And of course, you can uh, snipe the bell tower. You can kill people at the flag, and you can snipe the spawn point too. Uh, let me show you it by the way. There it goes. Oops. Oops. Fuck my aim, man. My aim. I got him once. Oh, this guy gonna try to kill me. Oh, let's see if I can snipe him through the roof. Oh, that was fucking epic. <laughs> through the roof and everything. And it was a headshot too, nice. Okay, let's help this dude. Come on buddy, get your ass up. Now I want you to see a pretty cool camping spot. But before... I said before. This guy gotta die. Basically you have to go all the way over here. Then just go out of the border, whatever. Out of the bounds. Then over here you got a pretty, a pretty dope sniping spot where you can kill people at the flag. Who are you trying to kill, sir? Nope. Oh, time to leave. It's time to leave. And I will. 
And then from here we'll fly in the top of the bell tower. Come on, pick your head out. One, one more time, do it. Do it again. Do it again. Come on, buddy. Wow. We both suck at aiming. Okay, yeah, let's leave him alone. Let's just go for the bell tower. So basically, you got to jump from the same place from where I was shooting. Yo, dude! Wow, this is very bad. What the hell are you doing? Almost killed me. Nope, not anymore. Like he got bees and everything. Dude, leave me alone. I left you alone. You wanna fuck with me or what? Now you can actually climb the very top of the roof from somewhere here. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. There you go. Ah, he's fucking bees, man. Leave me the fuck alone. Ah, he took a loadout with explosive errors and bees, that's funny. Like you see, he doesn't want to leave me alone. That means I have to headshot him. No motherfucker is trying to burn me alive. These fuckers have no chill. Where is it? Headshot! Somewhere over there. Yeah, there it goes. And there he dies. I'm gonna show you some real cool trick how you gonna how you can take the flag playing on this map. That's one. That's two. Focus. Worrying body on this shit. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta teleport on the wooden pole right there. Fuck. Yeah, if your aim is kind of fucked up, just like mine, teleport on the on the flagpole first, and, and from here you can easily do that. And then just slightly tap forward. You see what I'm doing? That's not that guy. Look, he just left the circle, right? But I'm still taking the flag. Look. See you. <laughs> Works perfectly, doesn't it? Works perfectly. <laughs> this guy was just fucking freaking out, running around trying to shoot me. <laughs> You know what, let's pull this trick again. And then just slightly move. There you go. That guy got fucked up, Snuggle Ray got fucked up. You can't see anybody guys. Well, I can see you. I want to show you guys a real cool uh, spawn camping place, but I'm not sure if they're gonna spawn there. Like the secondary one. Not a lot of people spawn over there, but what's good about it is that you can kill them as soon as they spawn. Got him. Now let's have fun with this guy. So if he if he spawns here again, oh, let's throw a barrel over there. By the way, surprise the motherfucker. There we go. That's one. Let's hide so that he can see us. Come on, spawn again. Ah, oh, there you go. We're gonna have fun with this guy. We're gonna have fun with him. <laughs> you see, probably one of the best spawn camping places in this game. 
Is as soon as they spawn. As I said, as soon as they spawn. Come on, no. Okay, he's kind of smart. Okay, it doesn't look like he's spawning here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And they deck everything well now. Fuck. I could show you how to climb some of the trees on this map, but then uh, they're not really useful. Yes. What up, buddy? What up, buddy? Well, I'm gonna show you anyways how to climb uh, one tree that is kinda useful. You crazy? They kill him, right? You gotta go over here and uh, crouch down, go right against, like sit right against the sex. Aim for the top of the tree. And there you go. It's relatively easy actually. But as you can see, you can't see much. As you can see, you can't see shit. So that's why I'm saying they're a little bit useless. But what's good about it is that you're sitting, you see? Where is it? Let me just find him. You see? That's what I'm saying. Like, there are good trees and there are bad trees. This one is good. Because you get to see inside of it. So it gives you a little shield. Because that guy couldn't shoot me. He was just unloading the whole fucking machine gun at me and nothing. Then another advice I have for you is keep changing your location all the time. For example, this one is really good. Yo, dude, careful with this. Oh wow, the fucking elephant almost ran my ass over. Let's camp over here now. No, you missed. I, I, oh, two kills by one shot. Nice, nice. I didn't even mean to. That that other guy just awkwardly like walk behind him and it happened so that I shot both of them. <laughs> that was cool, man. I, man, I'm getting some fucking sick kills in this gameplay. Somebody was ghosting. Nice! Finally I got this fucking gameplay on camera. Fuck, man. It was like two days of me trying to get some to get some of that cash crop gameplay. Like, one day fucking hackers everywhere I couldn't record. I couldn't do shit. And the second day, I just couldn't get into a cash crop game. <sighs> Finally. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.